Mmm, I just got some ice cream and I'm so excited for it. Wait, what? This is like cement. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but have been living here in Cincinnati on and off since 2016. So this is the second video in my mini series on random differences between Germany and the US. Make sure to check out the other episodes as well. They're linked in the info box below. In the first episode, I talked about how Germans pee differently than Americans, but today I'm gonna to be talking about a much more pleasant topic, and that is ice cream. The English term ice cream translates to ice or the long form Speiseis in German, at least according to the dictionary, but dear dictionary, I hate to break it to you, but as a German living in the United States, I have to tell you that American ice cream is actually not what you'll get when you order ice in Germany. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know. It's okay, it's okay, don't be upset. Everyone makes mistakes, it's okay. Bring it in, bring it in. Okay, that may have been a little overly dramatic, but what I'm trying to say is that in Germany, when you go to a ice dealer, an ice cream parlor, or when buying ice cream at the store even, you'll get what Americans call gelato. Gelato to Germans, and to most Europeans for that matter, is regular ice cream. It's the default. Now, the Europeans among you are probably asking, but what do Americans get at the ice cream parlor if it's not the same as in Europe? Well, have you ever had Ben & Jerry's or haagen -Dazs? That, pretty much. Okay, now let's be a little more precise. For some reason, and I couldn't really figure out why the preferences changed and when this shift happened, so if you know, please let me know, but for some reason in North America, people prefer the kind of ice cream that in Europe we often refer to as American ice cream. Other than gelato, it's usually served at a lower temperature and it's not as soft as gelato, which means that you usually need to let it get warm for a bit before you can even start eating it. Like when you take it out of the freezer, it'll be way too hard to even put a spoon in it. Gelato, on the other hand, is usually pretty creamy and you're able to get a scoop out of it right when you take it out of the freezer. And at the shop, it's usually kept at a temperature of minus 12 to minus 5 degrees Celsius, while American ice cream at the shop is usually at minus 14 to minus 12 Celsius. American ice cream is made out of milk, cream, sugar and egg yolks and is churned at a higher speed which makes it increase in volume because it gets more air in it while gelato has less milk than ice cream and usually less egg yolks or no egg at all and it's churned at a slower pace which makes it more dense. Of course gelato isn't typical German, it's known as a specialty from Italy and it's also believed that the kind of gelato that we know today has its origins in Italy in the 16th century but as I said gelato is what you'll get in most European countries and definitely in Germany. Now, as I said before, American ice cream has kind of made its way over to Europe in the past 15 to 20 years, especially through big brands like Ben & Jerry's, which came to Germany in 2002. But unlike in English, we don't have different words for the two kinds of ice cream, really. If anything, I feel like we would call gelato ice and ice cream americanisches ice, American ice cream. But honestly, before I moved to the US, I wasn't even aware of this difference at all. I just kind of figured that the way the Ben & Jerry's ice cream tasted was specific to the brand. I didn't realize that this was what you would get as ice cream at most places in the US. And to be completely honest, I also don't really understand why Americans seem to prefer this kind of ice cream when you could have gelato, which is just so much better in my opinion. But on the upside, I don't eat as much ice cream in the US as I do in Germany, which is definitely more healthy if anything, I'll get a milkshake at the ice cream shop made with the ice cream, which, yes, I have to admit, is pretty amazing. But I don't really enjoy a scoop of American ice cream the way that I enjoy a scoop of gelato. 
even store-bought gelato is way better in my opinion. Now, besides the texture and ingredients of the ice cream, it also comes in very different flavors in the two countries. In the US, typical flavors are cookies and cream, cookie dough, chocolate chip, brownie, French vanilla, and honestly, anything with peanut butter. Americans put peanut butter in everything. And then, of course, the classics, chocolate, strawberry, and regular vanilla. But a lot of the flavors are a mix of different things, like peanut butter salted fudge or something like that. While in Germany and the rest of Europe, gelato usually comes in more simple flavors like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, lemon, banana, coconut, mango, white chocolate, etc. The American flavors have come over to some of the gelato places, but when I was a kid, there was no cookies and cream or anything. Instead, we actually have a flavor that doesn't seem to be a thing at all in the US, and that is straciatella which is actually one of the most popular Italian ice cream flavors. It's basically just milk ice cream or vanilla ice cream with chocolate shreds. And we also use this flavor for other foods, like for yogurt, for example. Oh, speaking of yogurt, that's also an ice cream flavor we have in Europe that I don't think I've ever seen in the US. And no, it's not the same as frozen yogurt. Another thing you should be aware of as an American going to Europe or a European going to the US is that even though ice cream is sold in scoops in both places, Kugel in German, in Europe you usually get an actual scoop, so about this size, while in the US you get much more. They usually just fill up the whole ice cream cone or the cup. A scoop in the US is officially 118 milliliters, which is half a cup. Also, in Europe, gelato is a pretty common dessert. You don't have to go to an ice cream parlor necessarily. A lot of restaurants will just have a little gelato counter to pick from for dessert. And you can usually get fresh ice cream at most cafes. And in the summer, you might also see ice cream carts on the street. People just get it as regular dessert or go get a scoop during lunch break or after work in the summer. The last thing that I should probably mention, because I know that people will bring it up in the comments, is the fascination with German spaghetti eyes. I have to say, as a German, I don't really get what's so fascinating about it, but non-Germans love this topic. I guess it's really just the name. But in Germany, you can order an ice cream sundae called spaghetti ice at a lot of places. And no, you won't get ice cream with actual spaghettis, but it's really just ice cream in the shape of spaghettis, topped with strawberry sauce and white chocolate chips to make it look like spaghettis with tomato sauce and parmesan. So just like the last topic, this one is quite mysterious to me. So please help me out in the comments below. I'd be interested to know why and when the two different kinds of ice cream were developed. So if you guys know more about this, please share it in the comments below. And also to all Americans, why do you guys prefer this over gelato? I don't get it. And to the Germans, have you guys ever tried American ice cream? And if so, what did you think of it? I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of my Random Differences series. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you did and subscribe to my channel for free if you like what I do on here. And of course, stay tuned for the next Random Differences episode in two days, which will have to do with cars, so a whole different topic. But there will be another food-related topic soon regarding cookies, because whenever I I eat baked things like cookies or cakes in the US, I'm always like, what are you doing, America? But as I said, that will be its own episode, so I won't say too much for now. Stay tuned and I'll see you in two days. Tschüss!